Tuesday, 23rd July. Welcome to Evening Prayer. I Gather Christians, let's now celebrate. Gather Christians, the Lord we now await. Gather Christians, the Holy Ghost, rejoice and sing. the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Saviour, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the newness of life, to the honour and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 47 and 48. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to the Lord with a cry of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdues the people under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us the pride of Jacob whom he loves. 
God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people have gathered together with the people of the, go of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God, and he is highly exalted. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. In the city of our God, in the city of God, is his holy hill. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is known to be her sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled and marched forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They wreathed like a woman in childbirth, like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited in silence on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, O God, reaches to the world's end. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion be glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice, because of your judgments. Make the circuit of Zion walk round about her. Count the number of her towers. Consider well her bulwarks. Examine her strongholds, that you may tell those who come after. This God is our God forever and ever. He shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The First Reading A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in Samuel, 1 Samuel, chapter 25, verses 1 to 22. Now Samuel died, and all of Israel assembled and mourned for him. They buried him at home in Ramah. Then David got up and went down to the wilderness of Paran. There was a man in Moan whose property was in Carmel. The man was very rich. He had 3,000 sheep and a 1,000 goats. He was sharing his sheep in Carmel. Now the name of the man was Nabal, and the name of his wife was Abigail. The woman was clever and beautiful, but the man was surly and mean. He was a Calabite. David heard in the wilderness that Nabal was sharing his sheep. So David sent ten young men, and David said to the young men, Go up to Carmel, go to Nabal, and greet him in my name. Thus you shall salute him, Peace be unto you, and peace be to your house, and peace be to all that you have. I hear that you have shares. Now your shepherds have been with us. We did them no harm and they missed nothing all the time they were in Carmel. Ask your young men, and they will tell you. Therefore, let my young men find favor in your sight, for we have come on a feast day. Please give whatever you have at hand to your servants and to your son David. When David's young men came, they said all this to Nabal in the name of David, and then they waited. But Nabal answered David's servants, Who is David? Who is the son of Jesse? There are many servants today who are breaking away from their masters. Shall I take bread and my water and my meat that I've butchered for my sharers and give it to the men who came from I don't know where? So David's young men turned away and came back and told him this. David said to his men, Every man strapped on his sword, and every one of them strapped on his sword. David also strapped on his sword. And about 400 went up after David, while 200 remained with the baggage. But one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute our master, and he shouted insults at them. Yet the men were very good to us, and we suffered no harm, and we never missed anything when we were in the fields as long as we were with them. There, 
they were walled us both by night and by day. All the while we were with them keeping the sheep. Now therefore know this, and consider what you should do, for evil has decided against our master and against all his house. He is so ill-natured that no one can speak to him. Then Abigail hurried and took two hundred loaves, two skins of wine, five sheep ready dressed, five measures of parched grain, one hundred clusters of raisins, and two hundred cakes of fig. She loaded them on donkeys and said to her young men, Go on ahead of me, I am coming after you. But she did not tell her husband Nabal. As she rode on the donkey and came down under cover of the mountain, David and his men came down toward her and she met them. Now David said, Surely it was in vain that I protected all this fellow has in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that belonged to him. But he has returned me evil for good. God do so to David. And more also, if by morning I leave so much as one meal, all of who belong to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You show strength with your arm and scatter the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Second Reading A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in Romans chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. Welcome those who are weak in feet, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who, must not, those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on the slaves of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another while others judge all the days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it for the Lord. All Also, those who eat, eat for the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain for the Lord and give thanks to God. For we do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For this, for to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be held accountable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrages Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The Collect for today is Proper 11. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask, and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness, and mercifully give us those things which, for our unworthiness, we dare not, and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.